Good afternoon, everybody. The pop-up I'm going to be assembling this afternoon showing you is the 180-degree noisemaker. It's a parallel fold. You'll see that in a minute. It's from the Elements of Pop-Up. This is the piece right here. This is the noisemaker. If you listen very carefully. Let's see, it makes noise. I'm not sure if any of you did this as a child, but when I was a little boy, I would put playing cards in the spokes of my bicycle and they would make noise. It's very similar to that, that playing card trick. So these are the pieces. This is the main piece. And you can see we actually have three pieces on this one. This piece is going to be loose. So the first thing I'll do is prepare this piece. Okay, fold it, all the folds in place. And as you can see here, this, this is a little um, noise. These, these saw blades um, basically are on a radius. And so this works on a radius. This piece just goes straight through like a saw. So let's, let's prepare this first. What you want to do is put a little bit of glue right here, just a small amount to glue that together. But before you glue it, you're going to slip it in right in here like this. Can you see that? And it sits in there like this. Now let it glue together. And what's going to happen is when this piece folds back together, there it goes, it rocks back and forth. So as, as the, as the pop-up opens and closes and the structure moves, this will make that saw sound. That's the first one. Okay. There we go. The second piece will go through the slot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and slot this into the base page. This is the, this is the slot that sets the position. And here's something about this too. If, if you put the slot, if you put the tab into the slot going th this direction and the pop opens, it'll, it'll cause the paper to, to bow a little bit like this. Okay. If you put this, if you put the tab in going the other direction like that, it will cause the paper to bow a little bit like this when the pops open. So I want that to happen. So I'm putting it, the tab towards the gutter or towards the center fold. A little bit of glue here. There we go. 30 second rule. <laughs> okay, now to assemble this piece, one of the things I like a lot about paper, one of the uh, as a medium, is it has a great range of flex of 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 attributes. Um, basically, it can it can be designed to be rigid and structured, and that's what this is going to be, or it can design to be flexible. And that's what the little uh, piece right here is. It's flexible. So we're using both here. We're using rigid paper and flexible paper. All right. So, so um, to make this a little bit rigid, I'm going to put glue on And notice I'm just putting glue right along this outside edge here. Because I want to have a little bit of gap here with no glue. That, that actually helps make um, this rigid piece stronger. And it's really the fold and in... in um, in this piece that makes the saw blade strong and rigid because we're, we're going to be pushing it through paper. So we want that to be nice and rigid. And one of the things I do sometimes is when gluing is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it under a heavy book. See the heavy book here? Big heavy book. And I'll just let it sit there for a few minutes. I'll push it out of the camera here. And that makes sure that piece glues really nicely. Okay. So anyway, we have the piece here. All right, and we're going to now assemble the, the saw blade in here so that it uses that flexible little piece there. One of the, one of the key things to, to think about here is when we put this in the slot, I, I want that saw blade, the, you know, the little teeth, to be on the, the little clicker piece which, which is the flexible piece, uh, I want that clicker piece to go about, not all the way into the saw blade, but about three quarters of the way so that we know for sure that blade is going to move the piece of paper. All right, and the way this piece works is, this piece is actually gonna sit right on the gutter. Okay, see how that 
fits right in the gutter here. So the center fold of the saw blade is on the center fold of the, of the base page and then uh, slides through the, the piece there. So you can see what happens here. Really what's ha happening is the slotted panel of the pop-up becomes a fulcrum moving back and forth on the stable saw blade. Okay, so let's get that in place here. There's the glue tab. We'll put a little bit of glue on this. Glue in place. And remember, I'm trying to make sure that, that the, this fold here is parallel to the center fold. This is a parallel fold, so I want all the basic, all the structural folds to be parallel. And that this clicker piece is far enough into the groove of the saw blades so we get some clicking going on there. All right, there we go. Now we'll push that together. And as usual, I'm going to flatten it down. I want it to flatten this way. There we go, that's how it assembles. All right, there's your glue tab. This glue tab will find its own position. Hold it for 30 seconds or you can put it under the heavy book or, or a heavy piece. I one time saw in production how they had used a, a brick covered in paper. And they had put the brick on top of the pieces of paper uh, on the glue on the glue points to get them nice and glued. Oh. If you get a little bit of glue on there, you take your blade and scrape it off. All right. Pinch that down. Put it under the heavy book for just a minute. Put some weight on it. <laughs> You'll find your own tricks, I, I promise you. And let's see what happens. There's a little bit of stress on these glue points, not as much as some of the, some of the other pop-ups I've shown you. Oh, I forgot. Get a little bit of glue under there, right on that tab. You want that to be down on the on the page too. Right there, you want that piece to glue down too. There you go, there's a clicker, noise maker. <laughs> 